It should look like this, where at the top it says, sometimes the entire string of holiday lights goes off. I don't know that we're necessarily going to be following much from this book. Uh, but we're going to be using some of the ideas from here, and we are definitely going to be answering the question on page 13. But we're just going to we're just going to do some activities, and we're going to talk for a while, and we will see if we can get to the point that we understand electricity and how it works. So I have in front of you a string of lights. So then I come over here and I go, what a, what a, what a voodoo magical powers and pose. What? But then I come over here and I go, what a, what a, what a voodoo magical powers and boom. There are some things that we hopefully learned from the Bill Nye yesterday if we were paying attention for those who were here. Okay. There is a thing in electricity which is called a circuit. Okay? Now, now when I have a plug. And I plug into that. Okay? You'll notice in that plug, there are three different places it can plug in. One of those is considered a positive charge. One of them is considered a negative charge. Okay. And one of them is considered a ground, which is just kind of neutral. Now, now most most small ticket items that don't use a lot of electricity, like these lights. Okay, you'll notice only use the two. So they only use the positive charge and the negative charge. It's usually bigger things uh, that have more electricity flowing through them that have the ground to help you, like, just keep it safe. So we have a positive charge, we have a negative charge. Now, for a complete circuit, it has to go from the positive, around, and back to the negative. Which it does through the light bulb. So the positive comes up, the negative goes down. Positive comes up, the negative goes down. Light bulb. Now, if I pull out the positive and bring down the negative, but then there's no light bulb there, that connection is now broken. And if the electricity does not go all the way around, then it just stops. So that's what's happening when I pull out the light bulb. So suddenly, my positive that goes in and my negative that comes out is no longer connected. And so electricity does not flow all the way through that, and, and it does not work. What? Okay, pull that out again. How is okay, it? You there's a plug right there. It goes up and around. How does the electric, electricity charge that side where the plug's on that, that side? That, that is simply the way that the wire is made. That defies my um, rule. There Wait. are... Depending on the strand of Christmas lights, some of them will have all of the same color. So like if I pull out a red, all of the red will go off. Uh, so, some of them are set up in halves like this. It just kind of depends on the way that this light is wired though, it's just wired in halves. So when I pull out a light on this half, it makes this whole, so let's see, remember the pink light by the blue light. The minute I go to the other half, 
suddenly it's that half of the light that goes off now because it's like that day. for whatever for whatever reason we're going positive and then at the end of it it loops back and goes and then there's another wire so I, I don't know exactly with all of the braiding and twisting i haven't made it i don't know i've never actually pulled one apart but something like that so that the other half is on a separate circuit is what that is called I stole, I stole this from my son. We bought it for him for Christmas one year. I brought it in so that we could play around a little bit with electricity safely. So I have a battery source. Battery. Now, you will notice if I zoom in on that, we have positive and we have negative. Okay, so we have the same thing there that is on our plugs down here. A positive side and a negative side. That's the way that it's charged. You'll notice on these, that each of these are marked, some of these are marked positive as well. So I'm just going to bring this up here. Boop. And we'll set this right here. And then I also have this right here. No. No. <laughs> now, now notice for me, because I actually put that in the wrong direction from what I'm wanting. Okay, notice my positive is on this side. So I want to connect like that so that I've got positive closer to that for purposes that you will see here in just a minute. The other thing that I'm going to put in is is this here, which is simply a switch. So I'm going to put that right there. When I'm connecting things together, I actually want to make sure that things connect together in the right order. If we put, uh, let's, let's come over here first and we'll go. No. So all I did was run that wire around, around and then if I connect to this side the light turns on. Wait, that so my power circuit goes through the wire in here turns the light on. Now it does not work if I disconnect the negative it doesn't work. It's not Unless I complete that circuit I do not have a completed circuit of power. So, can you try taking off the other side? Uh, wait, put, the, put one side on there, on that one, and then take off the side that's on, on the, the other side. side. Over here? So no, the, no side. the black thing on that side. Over here? No, the other black one. Here? The black yeah. one on the, on the positive. Yeah, the, the negative uh, on the positive. I don't get what you're talking about. Take that's, off the black that's that on the curve. There. That. Here? Yeah. Take that off? It won't work. Negative. And then put the red yeah. one on the other side. Unless I have that completed circuit, it's not going to work. Switch them. Switch them. Yeah, yeah. Switch the. Um, I don't think it's going to work. It might have worked. Then, some of some of them will. This one has a specific direction that it has to go. You notice the arrow on it. The positive has to come from that side. Otherwise, the current's not flowing in the right direction. And we'll look at the next thing we'll look at in completing our circuits is red to positive. Negative to negative. Yeah, and, and generally speaking, black will always be your negative, unless you're talking about house waters, but then that's a whole different story. So then we'll go black to negative. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add the switch into the circuit. So the way these work is they're just metal along the bottom. So it's only the plastic that's exposed, but I connect the positive to the positive to the positive to the positive. And then here, I'm going to go negative or well, the negative in that side to the positive on that side. And then we're going to go. Wait, what's the negative? Can we all work at the same time? 
And then we're going to go connect to that side, to that side. Boop. Boop. And boop. Maybe. Boop. So, from there, So there's not. It's a Beyblade now. Yeah, there, there's there's apparently not enough power in my batteries to run them both at the same time. Three new batteries. So the whole idea of it though being that we have to have that completed circuit. The minute we break that circuit, the electricity no longer works. you break it? I'm gonna ask you. We're gonna do one final test of the emergency broadcast system. Broadcast. Um, works. Ow. What are you putting that in my eyes? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I have given each group a flashlight. Figure out why it doesn't work. Flashlight. Something like that. Okay. Now, one of the things they talked about in the Bill Nye was the difference between a conductor and an insulator. What was the difference between a conductor and an insulator? Harper? The insulator blocks the energy. Yeah. Okay, so a conductor, think about like the conductor of a train. The conductor of a train is who gets the train going. A conductor is something that lets something pass through it. Whether it's a heat conductor or an electricity conductor, it allows the electricity to flow. An insulator is the opposite, an insulator stops it. So it was kind of like with our, our heat, okay? We had the, the wood of the table compared to the wood of, or the, the cloth. And the cloth let more heat in and around it than the wood did, so the ice cube on the cloth melted quicker. Wood is an insulator, where that cloth is more of a conductor of heat. Now we're talking electricity. Your first problem. It's well, your first problem was a lack of batteries for this table. Now, remember positive and negative. One side of the battery has a positive charge, one side of it has a negative charge. You have got to have them where positive would be in line with the negative. So the rest of you had that problem where you had positive to the positive and the electricity won't flow through that. What we end up having to do is flip that around so that I had to flip that around so that it went negative, positive, negative, positive. That way the energy can flow through them. Now we have circuits, which means Somehow, the electricity has to get from here to here and from here to there. Now, do you see? Okay. Are there, are there any wires in there? Do you see wires in there? No. Invisible wires. Do you see any wires? Okay, so what, what, what you do see, okay, what you do see down at the bottom, down at the bottom of it, there's a spring. Now, 
this spring touches the bottom of the battery. It's like... What else you'll see, go ahead and just pass that around. What else you'll see in there is a metal strip that runs up the side. It's not a wire necessarily, but, but it's what, it's what acting as the wire. So, so this goes up. No. It's a circle. It's on any side. Okay. So it goes up and then it touches something in the lid when you put the lid on that comes over to the bowl. What do you notice on the bottom? Okay, more metal. So the lid has something on it that when you put it on, it comes down and touches that, which is what runs up to here and completes the circuit. So my electricity can go positive, like the light bulb, it's the circuit, circuit. down, circuit. over, circuit. negative, positive, it's negative, up, completes the circuit. If that circuit, meaning like a circle, it has to make a complete circle, otherwise it doesn't work. The minute you break that circle, which is what we were doing right over here, okay, so, so if we put this here and we put this oh, it, I put that there and I put that there uh, there's another three okay the minute that that circuit is broken the minute that it is no longer a circle it is not working as soon as we complete that circuit, it spins. Oh, and then it doesn't. Complete, and then Zachary, do not. The minute we complete that circuit, it suddenly works again. Where? I want to touch it. When that circuit is not completed. Okay, but when that circuit is not completed, it does not work. So the minute we break that circle, it no longer works. So if you turn over to page 13, first things first, on the top of page 13, draw the diagram of the flashlight and how it works. how the circuit works. It goes through the so if energy does not go in a complete circuit, it is not going to power what it's trying to power. It has to have the positive in and the negative out and then looped back around so that the energy keeps flowing. So in that bottom box, you're just kind of trying to explain that because it, it asks you, or in the bottom, on the bottom lines, it, explain how electricity be, can be transferred from one place to another. Okay, it's got to travel in that circuit and it has to travel through a conductor. And the conductors they almost always use is metal because metal is the best electrical conductor. That's 